I'll, I'll restart. Ready? Restart. All right. So, uh, hi guys, I'm Sibi, and along with Stephanos and Venkat, we uh, tried to judge a book, the quality of a book by its cover. To give you a brief overview of what our project was doing, uh, our goal was to automatically estimate the quality rating of a book, of used books. And step number one was to collect uh, data, and we did this using user studies through Amazon Mechanical Turk. And step two was designing features, which we did both using hand-tuned or hand-engineered uh, features, and also using vision-based vision features. And uh, step three was uh, basically using all the algorithms we learned in class to see if we can actually predict these ratings. And I'll show you the results of these algorithms at the end. Uh, to talk a little bit about the background, uh, we did a little bit of searching and we found the ma main thing uh, related to our topic was uh, websites which gave, us the, uh, which gave us the best possible shopping website where you can find the book for the lowest price, given a book which you already want to search for. So it's not really used book rating stuff. And the other thing which is similar but not the same is recommender systems, where recommender systems wants to give you a customized rating based on your user preferences, you know, context like the genre of a movie, uh, for example. Uh, and then gives you a, a rating customized to you. Uh, but this is just to give you an objective rating. Uh, this is not uh, dependent on the customer. It's just going to give you uh, one rating for a book based on the quality of the pages or perceived quality of the pages and nothing else. So uh, let me talk a little bit of the, about the user studies. Um, this was, um, many of you would have seen this through the link on Piazza. We uh, posted uh, four images uh, for each book, and basically we posted the cover, front cover, back cover, and the most representative pages. This is on Amazon Turk, and uh, we got a lot of people to give us what their uh, perceived rating was based on uh, some features which we told them to look at. Uh, one thing to note is that we had to, we wrote, uh, we, we implemented this uh, survey ourselves by using PHP and JavaScript because Amazon uh, Mechanical Turk templates don't seem to be really fitting the bill for us. Uh, so yeah, this is again what you, what you might have seen if you had clicked on the uh, survey. Uh, we wanted each person to rate from one to seven uh, what they thought the book was, and we also gave them a bunch of uh, features to think about and uh, tell, tell us how important or influential those um, uh, features were. Uh, for a couple of numbers, we did a pilot study just to get a feel of the data and to validate our features, which we chose uh, 20 users and 10 books. And for a training set, we um, did a study with 60 users in the same 10 books. And a test set, we did 30 users and five new books. Uh, this is an uh, example of uh, what our features looked like, the hand-tuned features. They were basically binary features, and they were uh, basically created out of a gut feeling of what we thought was relevant in a, in a used book. Amongst them are, is, is the, is the uh, page of a book, yellowish in color, other markings, highlight on the lines, coffee stains, stone pages, or if the front page is illustrated, for example. Uh, and these are binary features. And these were also validated by, you saw the uh, questionnaire on the previous page where we uh, asked them to rate how important those features were. And we got feedback as to if these features were relevant. And we found that these were actually good features, at least according to the people who took the survey. We also used vision features based on a pre-trained convolution neural network, which we used uh, Berkeley Cafe for. Uh, and uh, we used the uh, output, we used the pooled uh, response from the first convolution layer as features. Uh, in terms of algorithms, we threw everything but the kitchen sink at this. Uh, we use support vector regression, Gaussian process regression, uh, kernel regression, and least squares with L1 and L2 uh, regularization. We also did a little bit of k-fold. Uh, uh, we did k-fold cross-validation for our grid search to uh, tune our parameters for these algorithms. So here's a quick and dirty way uh, which we tried to you know, have a sanity check on whether these features or, or these uh, features which we chose actually made sense. And this was just an, a linear uh, uh, fit uh, using least squares. And we found the weights of the feature vectors uh, for, our, for the features which we chose. And we found that uh, tone pages seemed to have a very uh, large negative influence on what uh, users thought the rating were. And dirt did too. And things like illustrated cover and old paper color didn't seem to matter that much. Here is. Uh, uh, a view of our results of, of what actually happened for, over the test data. We found that basically every single algorithm seemed to, uh, so the, the, black, um, the black lines are the uh, uh, confidence interval of the, the, the mean of the rating plus or minus standard deviation as given by the users over the study. And we saw that basically all the techniques which we used passed through the confidence interval from uh, over all the test data. So every single uh, algorithm seemed to perform equally well on this. Um, but the vision features, seem to give us a little bit of trouble. Uh, we're still working on this. It's a work in progress. We wanted to show you everything we've done so far. And this is a work in progress which we are investigating as to what's happening. We wanted to find basically what vision features correlate the most with our hand-engineered features which we uh, designed before. And we wanted to see whether uh, 
uh, we could actually find certain linear combinations of uh, vision features, which actually gave us some sort of similar uh, understanding of those books as the hand-tuned features did. So we're still working on this, and hopefully that's what our next step is going to be over the next week or so. Thank you. Any questions? I guess no time. <laughs>